Hey everyone, and on today's episode of Bean Chow's Garage, we got another unboxing from Fabulous Manufacturing. These guys just make life, you don't understand, just fabulous because they're fabulous. <laughs> um, this is another product, but this is actually for a Mark IV. So we're going to do an unboxing and we're going to show you guys what's inside the box. So stay tuned because this is Bean Chow's Garage. So my buddy Ian um, ordered these parts and shipped them to me um, because we're going to be doing some uh, modifications to his Mark IV Jetta. So let's unbox these and show you what they are and then we'll explain what, uh, what we're actually going to be seeing inside here. So, ooh. so we got a bunch of hardware. Okay. So just by the looks of the hardware, look how big these bolts are. Hopefully you guys know what these are. Uh, there's Loctite in the box and the package. I love it. Oh man, now this is a product that I love so much because it does a lot to your Mark IV. Not just a little bit, but a lot. And what I mean, it does two big things for a Mark IV. Number one, these are called drop plates. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Now, another company called Infab or uh, IDF uh, are notoriously known for this product. Uh, we know them by IDF drop plates. Now, Fabless is another company that just started making these. Or they've been making them for a while, just not as much. And the big thing about these is that if you were looking at a Mark IV on its side view, and if you ever drop a Mark IV, Okay, if you lower a Mark IV, the back wheels caster forward, meaning the wheels move forward and they're no longer centered. Um, what these do, actually, they move the wheel back where they're supposed to be in the middle and they drop your car up to 20 millimeters. That's almost an entire inch uh, on top of what it is... Um, uh, from the factory. So these are what we call drop plates. Now drop plates are extremely common on a lot of old cars and trucks. Uh, trucks are notoriously known for drop plates because you know it's hard to actually drop a truck or uh, an old car uh, with suspension because usually they have old school suspension. They don't have like what we have like a strut or a coil and spring setup. They usually have leaf spring, torsion bar, uh, suspension so you can't just you know swap a part out and drop it there's a whole lot of work so back in the days they make what they call these drop plates and what that does literally just you bolt this on and it changes the height instead of uh, dropping the entire car you're raising the wheel up so technically you're going back down and that's the difference uh, between a stock uh, not not but between a, a like a suspension modification versus a plate modification it's still considered a suspension setup but it does it by raising the wheel up higher so you're actually going down more um, the cool thing about drop plates uh, if you guys can see it you can see the machining right here uh, they add an extra two degrees of camber uh, again lowers your car almost a whole entire 20 millimeters uh, on top of that, uh, these are reusable. As you can see, it's got pressed in bolts. Uh, meaning when you replay, whenever you take these off, you have to order another hardware kit with new, uh, new uh, press in studs because what happens is that over time, these studs will wear and if you re tighten them back down to torque specs, they can snap. They have the potential uh, of snapping. So what's cool about these, just grab a fat hammer and just wail on them and they pop right out and then just get new studs for them. Freaking awesome product. I'm so glad that um, 
Fabulous is making these because Infab or IDF stop making them or they just don't make them as many and they take forever to produce them. So thank you guys over there in Canada for making such an awesome quality product. I am in love with these. I'm actually going to probably order another set. Uh, I'm going to order a set for my uh, my trailer because I need to match it up with my Mark IV. Uh, so I'm definitely ordering these. I love the quality. Uh, these are hefty builds. I mean, these things are freaking heavy. So I'm very, very uh, proud of the quality here and the machining on this. Uh, if you guys want to, give it a small coat of paint. Uh, don't have to, but, you know, it is an option. Um, right here, Fabulous always hooks it up with an awesome... Uh, purchase card, thank you, you know, for purchasing Fabulous. Worry less, drive more. Awesome guys here. I love these guys here at Fabulous Manufacturing. Great stuff. They always hook it up with a bunch of swag in the box. Um, here's the install guide. Uh, we're actually going to do a DIY on these. So we'll show you guys how to do this. Uh, instead of using the, uh, the guide here, we're going to do a full video to show you guys how to remove and install these. Uh, we are getting new bearings for the rear, so uh, we're not going to do the what we call the pull out and push back in method. We're actually going to pull the entire bearing off, clean the whole entire surface, and get it ready for uh, a new uh, piece of sur a new uh, product to go on top of our uh, our um, uh, stock beam here. So this is awesome, love it. But we're going to go again. We're going to go a step up and make a DIY for this. Uh, I love these, but I prefer a visual representation uh, with the video. Awesome. Oh, I love these stickers. Uh, he's going to be mad at me if I take it from him. So they always hook up with some awesome. They give you a sticker and magnetic business cards. These are freaking cool. Uh, I slap these everywhere <laughs> at my shop, too. So awesome, awesome packaging, guys, from Fabulous. And I, again, I love the sticker. Uh, so. They give you enough hardware here and Loctite to do the job. Uh, you should have eight bolts per side, or no, four bolts and four nuts per side. So double check all that. Uh, let's see here, let's see. So for your hardware, we're gonna take these off right here. So you're gonna have these bolts. You'll see these two flat ones. I mean, uh, tapered ones just like that and then you have your nuts for here just like that this is pretty much every all the hardware you need in the box you're gonna need to use the Loctite for sure guys you do not want one of these breaking loose and having your wheel just fall off super sketch so we're going to show you guys the entire uh, install procedure for this. We're going to do a full DIY on these guys. But I just wanted to show you an unboxing. Look at that. Legit Loctite. This is like, like not cheap generic Chinese or, or knockoff brand stuff. Legit Loctite. It's a little little tiny bottle. Point, uh, what, point 0.5 milliliters. More than enough Loctite to do the job right. Um, we're going to show you guys pretty much uh, everything after. So... Thank you again, Fabulous, for providing an awesome product. I can't wait to install these on Ian's Red Jetta. Uh, we actually got a car show on November 21st to actually show off some of the new products that we have here on Pinchal's Garage as well. So stay tuned for that. But we'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick unboxing here. And as always, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. All right, everyone, peace out and have a wonderful day.